Welcome all the devotees for today's session on Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chayva Narottamam Devim Sarasvila Samtata Jaramudiray Nashta Prayashwa Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtiki So we are leading from Kanto 1, Chapter 9, Shloka number 15 and 16. So you may please repeat after me. Uh, one of you, maybe Punam Mataji, can you repeat after me? Yatra Dharma Suto Raja Yatra Dharma Suto Raja Gada Pani Rukodara Gada Pani uh, Vrakodaraha Krishna Hastri Gandivam Chapam Krishna Hastri uh, Gandivam Chapam Surat Krishna Tata Vipat Surat Krishna Tato Vipat Nahiasya Karhichit Adra Jana Nahi Asya Karhichit Rajan Puman Rajan Puman Ved Vidhit Sitam Puman Veda Vidhish Vidhit Sitam Yet Vidji Nasaya Yuktaha Yet Vidji Nasaya Yuktaha Muhyanti Kavayaha Apihi Muhyanti Kavayo Apihi Kavayaha Okay Dharma Sutta Kavayaha Dharma Sutta Raja Yatra Dharma Sutta Raja Gada Pani Vruko Daraha Gada Pani Vruko Daraha Krishna Krishna Tri Gandhi Vamcha Apam uh, Krishna Stri Gandhi Vamcha Apam Tu Hrut Krishna Tata Vipat So, so Hrut Krishna Tato Vipat Nahi Asya Karhichit Rajan Nahi Asya Karhichit Rajan Puman Ved Vidhit Sitam Puman Ved Vidhish Sitam Yad Vijit Nyasaya Yukta Yad Vijit Nyasaya Yukta Muhyanti Kavayah Apihi Muhyanti Kavayah Apihi Okay, I'll read full once, then you and then Kripa Mahisita Devi Mataji repeat. Yatra Dharma Sutta Raja Gada Pani Vrukodar Krishna Stri Gandhi Vamcha Pam Surut Krishna Tata Vipat Nahi Asya Karhichit Rajan Puman Ved Vidit Sitam Yad Vijit Nyasaya Yukta Muhyanti Kavayah Pihi Please repeat. Once, Mataji, please read Mataji. Hey Krishna, shall I read Mataji, Prabhuji? Yes, yes, Mataji, you only. Yatra Dharma Sudha Raja, Gada Pani Bhruktara, Krishna Sri Gandhi Vam Chapam, so get Krishna stado vipad vipad nahi nahi asya karki chitrajan puman veda vidistitam yet vigya nasaya guptaha mukyanti kavayo pihi. Thank you. Uh, Punamataji, you want to read complete ones? Okay, Prabhuji. Uh, यत्र धर्म सुतो राजा गड़ा पानी व्रको दरा कृष्ण स्त्री गांडी वम चा अपम सुहृत कृष्णा स्तो विपत ना ही अस्य कर कर ही चेत राजन पुमान वेदा विधिष्टितम यद विजी विजी ज्ञासया युक्ता मुहियंति कवयो अपि ही translation and purport by his divine grace श्री लप्रोपाद Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki chai. Oh, how wonderful is the influence of inevitable time. It is irreversible. Otherwise, how can there be reverses in the presence of King Yudhishthir? 
the son of the demigod controlling religion. Bhima, the great fighter with a club, the great bowman Arjuna with his mighty weapon Gandiva, and above all, the Lord, the direct well wisher of the Pandavas. O king, no one can know the plan of the Lord, even though great philosophers inquire exhaustively, they are bewildered. As far as the material or spiritual resources were concerned, there was no scarcity in the case of the Pandavas. Materially, they were well equipped because two great warriors, namely Bhima and Arjuna, were there. Spiritually, the king himself was the symbol of religion, and above all of them, the personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, was personally concerned with their affairs as well uh, as the well wisher. And yet, there were so many reverses on the side of the Pandavas. Despite the power of pious acts, the power of personalities, the power of expert management, and the power of weapons under the direct supervision of Lord Krishna, the Pandavas suffered so many practical reverses, which can only be explained as due to the influence of Kal, inevitable time. Kala is identical with the Lord himself, and therefore, the influence of Kal indicates the inexplicable wish of the Lord himself. There is nothing to be lamented when a matter is beyond the control of any human being. The bewilderment of Maharaj Yudhishthira over his past sinful acts and the resultant sufferings, etc., is completely negated by the great authority of Bhishma, one of the twelve authorized persons. Bhishma wanted to impress upon Maharaj Yudhishthira that since time immemorial, no one including uh, such as demigods as Shiva and Brahma could ascertain the real plan of the Lord. So what can he be understand about it? It is useless also to inquire about it. Even the exhaustive philosophical inquiries of sages cannot ascertain the plan of the Lord. The best policy is simply to abide by the orders of the Lord without argument. The sufferings of the Pandavas were never due to their past deeds. The Lord had to execute the plan of establishing the kingdom of virtue, and therefore his own devotees suffered temporarily in order to establish the conquest of virtue. Bhishma Dev was certainly satisfied by seeing the triumph of virtue, and he was glad to see King Yudhishthira on the throne, although he himself fought against him. Even a great fighter like Bhishma could not win the battle of Kurukshetra because the Lord wanted to show that vice cannot conquer virtue, regardless of who tries to execute it. Bhishma Dev was a great devotee of the Lord, but he chose to fight against the Pandavas by the will of the Lord because the Lord wanted to show that a fighter like Bhishma cannot win on the wrong side. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Mulitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Chavam Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savathutam Parijana Sahitam Vishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitam Shcha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatya Devesha Tarine Vancha Kalpataru Pescha Vipas Indu Brevacha Patitana Pavane Pyo Vaishna Vipyo Namona Vancha Kalpataru Pescha Vipas Indu Brevacha Patitana Pavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pramuna Maha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Dityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna. So today uh, suffered some technological issue, and so there is a slight delay. But then this is what the effect of Kal time 
is going to be and this is what parikshit maharaj uh, yudhishthir maharaj is being told by bhishma dev that he should not worry at all whatever is happening is beyond control the time is inevitable there will be reverses and those will be irreversible there will be difficulties there will be sufferings because this is all the influence of time if there were not to be sufferings if there were not to be reverses how can it be explained what happened in the lives of the pandavas because king yudhishthir was there who is the son of religion who is dharma he is himself the representative of dharma and then bhima the word rakodara here refers to bhima so he is a great fighter with a club and he was the one who was very strong and then what to speak of arjuna he is the best dharush dharah the best archer and he had gandhi which is the mighty weapon and over all of that it was krishna who was always there with pandavas who was their well wisher if in spite of all of this they suffered what it means is it is the effect of time which is inevitable and who is time it is krishna himself so it is krishna's desire that they be tested and that is why all this happened so maharaj yudhishthir you should not at all be worried everything happens under the instructions of the desires of lord krishna and no one can know the plan of krishna even great philosophers they have tried to inquire about the plans of krishna but they have failed and this is a very important word which comes here nahi nahi as karichit rajan Oman Ved Vidit Sitam Yet Vidnasaya Yukta Muyanti Kavaya Hapi. Kavaya means great philosopher. And they have had a lot of inquisitive inquiry. Vijitnasaya. So that means great inquiries. And still they were bewildered. Muyan. So Prabhupachi mentions that these two slokas. they actually are the guiding light for our life because it makes us understand that if there are some problems in our life then it is the desire of krishna otherwise we should not be worried at all everything is happening under the instructions of krishna under the desire of krishna himself nothing can move without his will even when we desire something krishna who is sitting with each one of us as parmatma he approves it and then only we get what we are desiring so even when i am speaking each of the word which is coming out of my mouth is something which is approved by parmatma and then only i am able to speak this is something which we need to remember that everything happens as per the will of krishna because this whole creation is done by krishna and this whole creation the material world is there to correct us to reform us and so we should not do it there will be worst of tribulations which we will suffer there will be ups and downs the whole life will be full of ups and downs but that is what life is meant for we are being trained we are being tested that now if we return back home back to god it will we be making the same mistake as we have done till now so we have to accept everything as the mercy of krish in fact look at what pandavas had when it comes to material power material strength they were the best they had everything Arjuna single handedly had defied the whole army of Kauravas when they were just coming out of the incognito period but same Arjuna had to fight with so many Kauravas and there were so many other uh, kings and warriors who had to take part on his side and same Arjuna 
with the same gandiva where krishna lay he was not able to protect the queens and the denizens of dwarika and was defeated by valpans so everything happens as per the will of krish in spite of our power of pious activities power of personalities power of expert management power of weapons direct supervision of lord krishna still pandavas can suffer reverses and this can only be explained as the influence of now if this is something which can happen to pandavas we are the worst of the fallen souls in kali yuga where this is the time this is the age of quarrel so we have to accept we have to understand this yes there are going to be reverses but we should not get bogged down by reverses otherwise what happens is we get into depressions we are always anxious we affect our sad and when the sadhana is affected then the seva gets affected and when the seva gets affected there is no swadhya which is done and this is the cycle which continues no swadhya so no sadhana no sadhana no seva and we end up in the repeated cycles of birth old age disease and and that is why this swadhya understanding of philosophy understanding about krishna which sila prabhupad has mentioned he has done so much of work for us we have to understand it we have to take it we have to read it. kala is identical with lord himself and therefore the influence of kala indicates the inexplicable wish of lord krishna there is nothing to be lamented when a matter is beyond control of any human that says everything is beyond our control because the only controller only parameshwara can be lord krishna so everyone wants to be ishwar but then is not for bhakti teaches us bhakti teaches us sarvapadi vinir muktena yat paratvena nirmalam rishikena rishikesha sevanam bhakti ruchya so the maharaj vidhishthir is bewildered over his past sinful acts and resultant sufferings then vishwama dev is completely negating him. lord bhishma is one of the twelve authorities which we have understood in fact in sixth canto yamraj swayam tells it swayam bhu naradah shambhu kumara kapilah manu prahlad janaka bhishma bali vaiya sakhi vayam dwadash ite vichanimo dharmam bhagavatam bata guhyam vishuddham durbodham yam gnatva amrutam ashrute so he says lord brahma bhagwan narad lord shiva the four kumaras lord kapila the son of devuti swayambhu manu prahlad maharaj janak maharaj grandfather bhishma bali maharaj sukhdev goswami and i that is uh, yamraj know the real religious principles so he is telling the yamrutas my dear servants this transcendental religious principle which is known as bhagavad dharma or surrender unto the supreme personality of lord and love for him is uncontaminated by the material modes of nature it is very confidential and difficult for ordinary human beings to understand but if by chance one fortunately understands it he is immediately liberated and thus he returns back home back to home See, when Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita refers to Bhagavad Dharma as most confidential religious principle, sarva guhyatam guhyad guhyatam guhyamattaram. So Krishna says to Arjuna, because you are my very dear friend, I am explaining to you the most confidential religion. And what is that religion? Sarva dharma an paritejya maam ekam sharnam raja. Give up all other duties and surrender unto me. One may ask if this very principle is very rarely understood. what is the use of it so in answer yamra states that this religious principle is understandable if one follows the parampara system of lord brahma lord shiva the four kumaras and from other the standard authority so there are four parampara the four lines of disciplic succession one from brahma one from shiva 
one from Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, and one from the Kumaras. So we have Brahma Sampradaya from Lord Brahma. We have the uh, Rudra Sampradaya from Lord Shiva. And then uh, we have the uh, Sri Sampradaya from Lakshmi Devi. And then we have the Kumara Sampradaya from the Chatush Kumar. So we must take shelter of one of these Sampradayas in order to understand the most confidential religious system. In fact, in Padma Puran it is mentioned, Sampradaya Vihinahaya Mantra Te Nishfala Mataha If one does not follow the four regulated, recognized disciplic sensations, his mantra or initiation is useless. So we have to be very careful about the asampradayas or sampradayas which are not bona fide, which have no link to authorities like Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Lord Kumar, Chatush Kumar and Lakshmi Mahima. Because people can get misbinded by them. Now here 12 Mahajanas and Bhishma Dev is one of those 12 Mahajanas. These personalities, they are still remembered because they are all Great stalwarts, devotees of the Lord. In Garud Purana, it is said, it is more rare to be famous devotee of the Supreme Lord in the age of Kali than being a devotee, uh, than being uh, a demigod like say Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva. It is easy to become Shiva or a Brahma, but very difficult to become a devotee in Kali Yuga. And that is why Tarad Muni and Prahlad Maharaj when they were talking, Yudhishthir said, he is most famous and can deliver all others after many, many births. But still, why is it so difficult? So, Krishna answers this. He tells Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita 7.19, Bhavnam Jarmana Mante, Dhanvan Maam Prapadyante, Vasudeha Sarvamiti, Samahatma Sudur Laba. After many births and deaths, he who is actually in knowledge Surrenders unto me, going to be me to be the cause of all causes and all that is. Such great soul is very. So we have to understand these aspects from the shlokas that we are reading to. Finally, they are for our well-being. And that is why Maharaj Par Yudhishthir, his lamentation that is being solved by Bhishma Dev by making him understand this. See. No one can understand the real plan of God. But whatever is the plan of the Lord is always best for us. Initially, we don't understand. In future, when we reflect back, yes, we understand. If that had not happened, maybe we would not have reached where we are today. So it has always been for our betterment, for our growth in spiritual sadhana, for our empowerment, so that we don't lose the war against fire. It is always better to be a Krishna Das than being a Maya Das. So best policy is simply to abide by the orders of the Lord without argument. The sufferings which the Pandavas faced maybe was something which was beyond control. It may not be linked directly to their past gifts. But the Lord had to execute the plan of establishing the kingdom of virtue. And therefore the devotees suffered temporarily in order to Established the conquest of virtue. Now, Bhishma Dev was also a devotee. But then, somehow he had sided on the other side. And so he had to lose. So, Krishna wanted to prove that even if you are a devotee and somehow you take the other side, which is wrong side, then you will have to suffer. So, you have to be very careful. There are many centers, small centers, and then we have bigger centers. So, the authority has to be followed. There would be many things which would be made to known. There would be many rumors which would be spread. But what is always important, that we always side by the truth, because truth will always triumph. Because Krishna is truth. He is the absolute truth. And that is why even a great fighter like Bhishma could not win the battle of Kurukshetra. Because Lord wanted to prove Vice cannot conquer virtue. The Bhishma Dev was a great devotee. And so he was also happy seeing the triumph of virtue. And he was also glad to see Yudhishthir Maharaj on the throne. That is what devotee is. He is not para dukha sukha or para sukha dukha. Devotee is always happy when Krishna is happy. 
and we have to follow the same thing. We have to ensure that whatever we do, we do for the satisfaction of Krishna and then we will get what Krishna wants, what Krishna desires. Thank you.